Hello, so let's see what's new in Revit 2025. 2025 help page, you can see all the new functions and new tools which are in new Revit release. Uh, some functions are marked as community ideas, so it means uh, Autodesk is listening to community voice and they try to implement and uh, uh, add these functions uh, to the Revit based on community request. So I think it's very nice from Autodesk. So we uh, listen and they react and implement some uh, needed changes for the program. So for me personally, the first one, top solid enhancements are very nice function. And uh, I was struggling in Revit 2024 version because I was missing the building pads and was using mass objects to modify top solids. And now these things are improved in Revit 2025 release. Another one is improved array modifications. So you can um, use array just with one or zero elements and you can do a lot of interesting stuff with array tools. Also, uh, additional improvements in uh, PDF exports. Uh, so it means you can uh, continue your working and the PDF export will um, uh, do export work in the background. So it means you don't need to stop working and you can um, increase your performance using this function. Another nice feature to join and auto join some walls because uh, I have a lot of struggling when you try to modify edit elements and uh, some walls are not joined correctly. So this auto join tool is an uh, interesting option. Sheet collections also is very nice function. Uh, Till this moment, I was uh, trying to use specific parameters to group uh, sheets to specific uh, collections. Now we will have some um, specific tools which can help to organize all the sheets in these collections. Multiple alignment tools, also nice future. For a couple of years, I was using third party uh, add-in from Autodesk App Store and uh, now they implement it uh, directly in Revit at last so nice to hear. Uh, EFC export category mapping templates it's uh, nice to see what EFC is uh, more and more integrated in Revit and we have better better performance with these uh, files. Coordination model ch change uh, checkers also nice and interesting future. Uh, other things, uh, some modifications and edits for uh, MEP fabrication data manager, and you can edit parts type geometry. Also, some analytical duct and pipe segmentation, so you can uh, do additional analysis improvements. Also, additional improvements in structural uh, rebar elements. So you can improve control of annotations in bending details. Also, you can split uh, rebar components, uh, more functions. So you can directly in the plan view change uh, wrapping control. Very important function from my side is integration of step files because till this moment I was using uh, Inventor or Fusion or other uh, tools which can convert step files to SAT files so I can integrate these files inside Revit. Now I can uh, directly import export step files so it will increase better uh, collaboration with uh, people who are working with Inventor, SolidWorks, and so on. Operating schedule enhancements uh, and some next uh, generation insights. So here we can see 
uh, we have some uh, additional improvements in energy analysis uh, also some improvements in uh, vector processing so we can see uh, elements in transparent view in vector mode much better this tech preview function i think it practically started in revit 2024 i was using but i think we pro implement more functions so i will check it out also shape editing snapping nice function yes and model consistency check very good improvements uh, more and more advanced steel uh, integration in Revit is also a very nice uh, thing, but it's still a long way from completely integrating advanced steel in Revit. But uh, it's nice to see some improvements. Dynamo updates, uh, GB XML updates, also nice to see. Uh, and additional uh, fabrication data manager improvements for MEP projects. Uh, also important part to modify and uh, make corrections for analytical uh, structure model uh, to change the direction of coordinate system. Uh, schematic bending detail for rebar tagging, also nice function. Uh, simplifying rebar sets, very good, okay. This is also important part because uh, I had struggling a lot with uh, automatic uh, changing rebars. If you change a concrete element, but you want to see the rebar shape the same and it automatically was changing, now you can lock it. Very nice improvement. Uh, splitting, framing and column with steel connections, very nice. Okay, and also this sorting parameters alphanumerically is uh, also important part because more and more uh, projects you get a lot of parameters from the client, from the uh, components which you download from internet and you can get a big mess of parameters and sorting them and finding information is very nice. Uh, materials uh, browser improvements also very nice. Uh, it, it, it was giving a lot of uh, issues when you want to modify a deed and so on. So this is very nice improvement. Uh, what's else? Search project enhancement. Uh, in 2024 version, they uh, provided this search uh, tool and I was missing this option to see child nuts and now we uh, improve this part, very nice. Dark theme, uh, not so needed for me. Uh, okay, disable mark number auto generation, MEP parameters, macro manager. Mm -hmm. I think this part is also important uh, for developers who wants to uh, provide better user interface and, and so on. Um, yeah, so all, these are all basic uh, improvements and new features of Revit 2025. So follow me and uh, subscribe and check my other uh, videos. I will go deep in all these enchantments and functions and will show live uh, videos how I use these tools. So thank you for your time and till next time. Bye.